I dread tonight doing all right. This is just fantastic. Your illustrations are just gorgeous, really fantastic. This is some of the best work I've seen while teaching this class, and I teach this class a lot. So, if that's any testimonial, so let's go. Let's go through. All right, this is great. I'm still concerned about the, the skin tone. To me, I'm just I'm just not following. I never asked you a couple of times about um, the skin tone for the first two, as they were kind of pink. Um, so I'm, I'm just, I'm, for a matter of consistency, I would go with a, with a traditional skin tone like we see right here. I think that's, that's uh, uh, really going to bring these to a high degree of, of uh, consistency. So um, there are a couple of areas where you're using gradients. Uh, we can see, this looks like a light to dark, dark gradient on the very back of the skin. So in other words, if, or I'm sorry, of the hair. So if we take a look at this hair right here and compare it to here, this hair, I mean, I see a, boy, you know, you're going to want to check, check this. I think that's a gradient. I'm not sure. There are a couple of other gradients used in other areas. Let me see. Um, right there, there's a gradient. So you, you don't want to use any gradients in this, this, um, technique whatsoever. Okay, let's go through each individual. As I said right here, my only concern here is the skin tone itself. Um, I, I think other than that, that's just let's a gorgeous like illustration. Well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, the next one. Now this one here doesn't have the same kind of contrast associated here. Um, so I would recommend darkening up the eye area. I, the, the flames that are coming out of the eye area are kind of flattening out the eyes as they are actually affecting the line work below it, being that that's a transparency in front of uh, the actual eyes. Um, one other thing I would recommend is a higher degree of, of uh, contrast in these, these areas here, specifically the lines. Right here, you've got these gorgeous lines that are kind of depicting the facial characteristics. Right now, this is all done with uh, tonal variation. So you might want to con uh, continue using that, that kind of line work. Just small little lines to indicate the nose, like we've done here, 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 and here. So this is an anomaly. It's inconsistent in the series. Therefore, I recommend that you go ahead and, and uh, address that. Um, right now, there's there's just not a whole lot of contrast associated with the facial area of this particular illustration. So I, again, I recommend um, concentrating on it. This is just gorgeous. Really, really a fantastic job here. One thing I would recommend here. Oh, also more detail in the hair. I think all of your, your I think that the detail is good here, but I think we could even really push shadow and highlight area into facial hair. Um, and then up, up, up here in the hair as well. Also more detail in this area here. Uh, boy, there's another gradient right there. There's a gradient right there. So we cannot use gradients. Um, so you definitely want to keep that in mind. Okay, I think that this shadow area is a little dark right here. It's almost starting to look a little bit like face paint. One of the things I would recommend here is instead of using this kind of, uh, this tone, which you're toning the skin tone from, from light to dark where the shadows are, use the same parent hue and then just, just create a darker value. Uh, instead of going from skin tone to black in your, your uh, color steps, go skin tone to a very, very dark value of that same skin tone and then use that for the shadow areas. You'll find that this looks like it's, it's, it's going to like a light, light version of black. So keep that in mind. I think that's a little bit too stark. I think we have a little more subtle relationship between the shadow and highlight areas. Uh, if you were to depict the, sh the, the shadow areas as a darker um, value of the parent skin tone hue right here. Okay, and then here, this one. I, this one I think is, is great, but there's a couple of things here that are really depleting the visual engagement here. Number one is that there's absolutely no uh, detail in the hair area at all. Again, we see another gradient here, so uh, really cannot use gradients in, in uh, flat avatar. And then also you've got the shadow placed over the eye but it's placed over the eye in a way that is, is, is kind of flattening out the eye area. Um, instead of placing the shadow over the whole eye, just try to develop shadow areas around the eye. Right now, the, the actual pupil, the color of the eye, specular highlights are all being diminished by the fact that that shadow is placed over this particular area. Another gradient there in the eyelashes, so you don't hurt the eyebrows, so you, you definitely don't want to, to include 
gradients. All right, fantastic start trend. Really great start. I can't wait to see your final stamps. All right, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you.